Alright, alright, welcome back guys, and it's me, the Mirror5, and today I have a new Terraria video for you. And this is a new Let's Play series, and this time we'll try to fight the Lepus, but for that of course we need some more equipment, especially some armor, and I'm going to make myself the Demonet one. Well, <laughs> let's say I will try to make it, because I have four... Um, either of world spawners at the moment crafted them and played the bits and uh, the thing we need to do right now is to fix all the inventory issues and stuff because things are kind of really messed up over here and I just don't want it to be like this so right let's place all the ores and kind of useful things in um, one chest I guess and this is going to be the fishing road also this is going to be the suspicious looking egg of course maybe some rainbow pieces don't know um alright alright what else can we do um I think that we'll put the purification powder right there put some shadow scales also Maybe the roofs, this blowpipe. Alright, now let's go to some kind of rubbish chests. <laughs> Not very useful things, I would say. And just leave uh, most stuff. I'll take the swiftness potion because we will need it later. But right now, let's just drop some really weird things. <laughs> which are definitely not so needed at the moment. Right, all this stuff, um, maybe this even. Um, let's leave snow as some building block. Oh, mm, okay, let it be snow, anyways. Empty bucket may be needed. Um, iron axe, alright, some grenades. This thing I don't need. Sword state here, not needed. Also, some shurikens, okay. And this is it and uh, now I just wanted to craft myself a new mana crystal just to get some more mana left there all right I will also want to make some arrows actually don't have that much um, wood but still let's give it a go all right that's kind of cool and convert those to some flaming ones. Okay, not need the jester's arrow, really. Alright, that's fine. Have some arrows, have some stuff to do. I will only take an iron axe here. Alright, so now it's all about fighting some eaters of worlds, I would say. And we'll go back to the corruption, to our fighting place, and basically beat some bad guys. Um, wait a second, we would need to get some grenades firstly Because I find those like the best thing to fight the Eater of Worlds like grenades are really doing their job and stuff oh, I'm kind of trying to jump here. All right, there you go Now the only task is to get the demon keys to actually talk to us I hope that's not gonna be really hard. Um, never mind. I'll just destroy this kind of block. And these guys would basically fall off. Wait a second. Oh, uh, no need the zombies. And right, you're free. Hey, come on. All right. So now we have some NPCs. And what are we going to do? is to get the demon least to talk to us and buy some goodies from here all right there you go i'll buy um two stacks of grenades i guess this is around 180 of those okay we got 70 80 <laughs> and still counting um don't really know how much how many would we need actually um that's enough anyway that's enough now let's fix things up place the platforms back um, try jumping there oh come on how do i do this 
boom there we go place the platform back and um, place the destroyed woods over there um where's the last wooden block though kind of disappeared so oh, there you go and we're going to fix this in a moment and boom now the npcs are fine okay and we have some time to pass <laughs> to the corruption i would say and that's pretty much what we're doing okay just don't fall down don't fall down too deep nope just like that there you go jumping through the walls going through the worlds just going straight and um, guys don't forget to write some ideas and stuff and also if you're watching i wanted to say that um dark souls 3 an amazing game i think it would be worth it a million percent it's like um some of the best games for me i mean the dark souls series so it should be really interesting for me to film and it should be interesting for you to watch but we have some goblins and that really sucks i would say um will i manage to get to the corruption without getting killed by those bad guys i think so that's not so hard goblins are awful i didn't want them at the moment like come on why did they even come to the world that's annoying that's really annoying i think you understand me <laughs> if you play to a bit fight a couple of goblin armies they're really shitty and <laughs> not needed <laughs> oh never mind we're close and there you go um i don't really care about the goblins i just go and uh, summon the eater worlds don't really care about those bad guys like who even cares about them so there you go we're doing a pretty decent amount of damage i would say and that's really cool that's amazing like look the eater of worlds is getting destroyed and killed that's awesome all right we gotta heal a bit um where is the final part come on where is he hiding where is the eater of worlds yay there you go all right here goes the first one <laughs> and now it's time for three more basically <laughs> okay <laughs> there you go let's take the healing potions back and wait for this bad guy just like this just like this okay where is he now boom just doing it oh one actually got destroyed I would say nope just don't die right now all right and there you go finish the last one and it's time to get some uncollected yet loot from the boss that's amazing uh, let's get rid of this shitty worm oh come on just come over here boom all right so what do we have oh my gosh that is a lot of demonite actually that's like tons of it now it's basically time to return home and what i wanted to do is to craft some armor maybe and maybe sell some stuff um i think we won't still have enough gold so you know guys i would think what is kind of better <laughs> getting more armor or buying the mini shark all right let's get to our house and then we're back so there we go guys we're back to the house and it's time to craft some ores and some bars <laughs> uh, okay there you go whoa that's a lot of demonite actually um so what 
what do we do with this? Right, that's 90 demonite. And I wonder for how much can I actually sell this all. <laughs> 28 gold and we have 8 at the moment and the mini shark costs um, 35 gold and you know what guys I think I'd really buy a mini shark at the moment and I'm not even joking about it um, but wait let's also see can we sell shadow scales um, No, I guess can't really be sold. Um, so what I'm doing right now, I would really sell all the freaking demonite bars, all the 90 ones, to the arms dealer. Boom, there you go, just wasted. <laughs> but we have the mini shark, and let's buy some musket bullets. Of course, everyone needs those to fight. And why did I buy the mini shark you may ask? Because I really wanna beat the leapers kinda easy and fast. I hope the mini shark would help us to do so. If not then who cares we can fight more Aetheris of Worlds or Eyes of Cthulhu. Basically to get more demonites back I would say. But alright I think around 300 of these would be actually enough. Um, yeah, I think this should be fine. Anyways, let's drop this out. Not in it either. Um, oh, I forgot to place the table on the chair. That's why all the NPCs are just walking around and they are in danger because they can actually get killed by some bad zombies when the night comes. Okay, now they should be safe. So, what am I going to do? I would basically leave some weird things in this little chest. Um, my mushrooms, maybe. Some grenades, some shurikens. Um, delete this thing, delete this one. Leave the shadow scales there, leave some spiky balls there. And take all the amazing things, take the mini shark. Um, leave some potions also Go like this place the grenades. There you go um, So what are we doing right now? It's time to actually fight the lepers and for this we would need the suspicious looking egg And are you guys excited? Are you guys ready for the fight? I think I should go somewhere not close to the house just to be sure that the NPCs are safe and they won't get killed. I think here's a nice spot and we can actually start the fight. Okay, nice location for the Lipus to spawn. And where is he? Where is he at the moment? And there you go. Pretty much. Oh, it's actually kind of tough, it's kind of hard to fight I would say, and we're not dealing much damage, and this is really weird. Kind of maximum damage that we do, it's like nothing, <laughs> it's nothing for this bad guy. Um, um, so you know what guys, <laughs> I actually thought that it would be better if we move the Lipus fight to the next episode because today was kind of a lot of things, we bought the mini shark, beaten the eater of worlds and that's kind of enough, uh, we have an amazing weapon which would help us to beat the wall of flash later on but hope you enjoyed this little episode so far and it was kind of fun, it was uh, maybe teaching that you better buy some armor and not the mini shark to fight the leapers. I actually forgot that he has many defense for the bullets, but never mind. You know, we still have the mini shark. And if you just go somewhere outside when it's dark, you know, you can be not afraid of zombies because they would just fall straight away. 
<laughs> once you're going to use your mini shark that you just purchased because the mini shark is freaking damn powerful you know just look at this demon eye it just needs around f four bullets i guess and this is totally amazing and i'm still not um, you know kind of sad that i bought the mini shark because it's going to be useful later but uh, yeah anyways that was me the mercury 5 as always don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you haven't already i'd be really happy if you share this video with your friends and google plus and all the people you know so stay tuned to leave your comments and i'll see you in some more videos as always stay awesome and have loads of fun